Hi folks, Kevin here from Greenlight Solutions. Just a quick uh, video on underfloor heating manifolds. This is a standard underfloor heating uh, manifold. This is our flow and this is our return line. Our flow has adjusters on it to regulate the flow. These are a couple of butterfly isolation valves. These caps here are basically dust caps just for on and off. Usually they should be loose. And in behind it is a little spring loaded valve that when I push down turns off the flow and when I release allows the flow through it. These guys here are what are called actuator heads. So you can see that this one and this one are activated so the stat is calling for heat whereas this one is closed. Now since we only have a certain amount of flow coming across it, much like balancing radiators, we can balance our underfloor heating. Now, this is a few years old, so we can see that the uh, we can see that the capsule inside uh, is dirty. But if I was to open this up by turning it anti-clockwise, I'm increasing the flow. Now, the one beside it, if I was to turn it anti-clockwise, I'm decreasing the flow. Now, not all manifolds are the same. So as this level goes down. I'm increasing my flow, so if I look at this guy here, it's going from 1 to 4 litres per minute, uh, well, 0 to 4, 0 being at the top, 4 being at the bottom. So the lower this is down on the, um, on the flow meter, the more heat I'm going to get through, the more flow rate and thus more heat. So rooms with a lot of heat loss should have a lot of flow rooms that have don't have much heat loss and depending on your floor covering as well uh, you can reduce reduce the flow so that's what we have flow side with regulators return side with actuator heads or on and off valves which are controlled by your stats hope that helps